Don't you just hate it when it's late at night and you're extremely tired? But you can't sleep due to pain because a zombie tickled your testicles earlier in the day? Or when you're feeling depressed because you grew up without an ounce of parental affection? These are just some of the issues that can easily be solved by a single cure, without the need for pills or medication. In Project Zomboid, all you need is a single can of beer. Beer, and alcohol in general, have surprising benefits. They act as sleeping pills, painkillers, beta blockers and antidepressants. Although it won't outright heal your afflictions, it will certainly help you forget about them for a brief moment. So the next time you're plagued with all these different conditions, forget about looting the doctor's office and find the nearest bar instead. Who would have known that the greatest cure in the zombie apocalypse was a Bud Light? It may not cure zombification, but it can cure almost everything else. Also, alcohol consumption is commonly linked to cases of domestic abuse. Drink responsibly. When zombies are chasing you, they treat vehicles as obstacles that they have to walk around. They do not go through the car, nor can they push it. The car remains completely stationary no matter how many zombies there are. So, it wouldn't be that crazy if you were to assume that if you block every entrance to your base using cars, they would serve as indestructible barriers that would keep the base safe from all dangers. At least that's what I and many of my friends thought when we first started playing this game. We ventured across town, collecting working cars to use as walls for the entrance and barricades for the windows. After a few hours, we finally managed to complete our barrier, only to realize that when there is no other way to reach you, the zombies will actually start crawling under the cars. One day, as we were chased by a horde, we ran into our base for shelter, thinking it was safe, only to find out the hard way that we, in fact, were not safe. Unless you're fairly new to the game, you might already know that running is negligible when trying to survive. You can outpace zombies effortlessly by simply walking, even if you walk through a crowd of them. And the zombies won't even notice you if you give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. In the game, there is a walk to button that allows your character to walk to that location by simply clicking on it. The most common scenario that you might find yourself using this mechanic is when you're traversing through the woods. When you walk through trees, you could get scratched or your clothes could get torn up and you will also get slowed down significantly, which is bad if there are zombies chasing you. However, if you use the walk to mechanic, your character automatically pathfinds his way around the trees, not only making you traverse the woods faster, but also lessens the risk of you getting scratched by branches. The second scenario where you could use this mechanic is when you're traveling far distances on foot. If you don't have a vehicle to utilize, using the walk to mechanic becomes necessary if you want to save time. Not only because you simply have to click in order for your character to move, but also because you can actually fast forward time while clicking on the ground allowing your character to channel the speed force within him. Just be careful when traversing the forest. Sometimes the trees start whispering. I bet you never thought you'd hear this sentence, but socks in Project Zomboid are actually evil. Don't you just hate it when you're playing as you normally do, and then out of nowhere, your character suddenly starts limping so you check the health panel to figure out what's wrong, only to realize that your feet have no more skin left. On multiple occasions, I have had my shoes break without me noticing, simply because I was wearing socks that are the same color as my shoes. Not only are socks incredibly useless, they also mask your weaknesses, making you vulnerable to getting hurt, which is exactly why I think they are evil.
unlike our lovely Patreon supporters that keep this channel alive, because that is the most noble thing a person can do in their life. As you stomp on zombies, the condition of your shoes will slowly deteriorate, which means that it will break after a long enough time period. And if you don't notice when they do, you might accidentally step on something that isn't so soft. So it is best if you consistently monitor the condition of your shoes, or take your socks off entirely, or wear a pair that has a drastically different colour from your shoes. Also, did you know that getting bitten can actually be a good thing in Project Zomboid? If you already know that, then I guess you should know the truth about hordes. Thanks for watching.